the Ferrari F40's unveiling on July 21, 1987, was a momentous occasion, marked by a sense of awe and thunderous applause. Ermanno Bonfiglioli, head of special projects for Ferrari in the 1980s and one of the creators of the F40, vividly recalls the excitement surrounding the car's debut. The F40 represented a significant departure from Ferrari's previous models, and its development was shrouded in secrecy until its unveiling. What's remarkable is the incredibly short time frame within which the F40 was developed. In just 13 months, Bonfiglioli's team designed, tested, and built the F40, a process that typically takes years in the automotive industry. From the outset, the F40 was envisioned as a race car for the road, featuring advanced materials like tubular steel, bonded Kevlar panels, and carbon fiber components to keep its weight down to just 1,100 kilograms. Leonardo Fioravanti, the designer of the F40, emphasizes the car's aerodynamic optimization and sleek design, which contributed to its record-breaking performance. Powered by a 2.9-liter twin-turbocharged Ferrari V8 engine producing 478 bhp, the F40 became the first production Ferrari to exceed 200 miles per hour. Despite its impressive performance, the F40 presented challenges during its development, particularly in terms of handling and compatibility with road use. Ferrari test driver Dario Benuzzi played a crucial role in refining the car's dynamics and ensuring it remained true to Ferrari's vision of a raw, uncompromising road racer. The F40's significance extended beyond its performance. It was also the last car approved by Enzo Ferrari himself, symbolizing a true Ferrari in its purest form. Benuzzi reflects on his pride in working on the F40, despite his involvement in testing numerous other iconic Ferrari models. In the end, the Ferrari F40 stands as a testament to the dedication and vision of those involved in its creation, a car that continues to captivate automotive enthusiasts decades after its debut.